dear friends welcome to this episode in this episode we will talk about the injustice done to karna in entire mahabharat and about his previous birth karna is an exceptional character that stands out from the rest all his life he has been wrong his mother leaves him his guru curses him in draupadi swayamvar draupadi insults him uh, indra takes his armor kunti takes promise from him that he will not harm any other pandavas other than arjun his only weapon reserved for arjun is used in killing gatotkach bishma puts a condition that if karna is around he will not fight shalya is planted as his chariot and keeps on insulting him his will gets stuck in the battle and is killed without a weapon the only emotional support that karna gets is from duryodhan and he pays back with his loyalty he doesn't give up his nobility even in the time times of crisis one wonders why he has been wronged all his life while the destiny can be inscrutable there are a lot of stories available about his previous birth with some variations that are associated with his fate it is believed that in his previous birth karna was a demon called dambodbhav or sahasra kavach meaning a person with 1000 armor padma puran does not mention of his being a demon but it it has a stanza that says that sahasra kavach was brahma's son it is believed that sahasra kavach fought with shiva and shiv took help of vishnu who fought with sahasra kavach for years and then produced the equally brave warrior who was called nara thus narayan and nar fought with sahasra kavach for years till uh, sahasra kavach was left with only one armor in the next birth sahasra kavach is born as surya's son and nar is born as indra's son and again narayan and nar krishna and arjun fight with karna in udyog parva of mahabharat there is a story of parshuram telling kauravas about dambodbhav he says that dambodbhav was a demon always eager to fight and kept on challenging all he challenged rishis named nar and narayan who at first very politely declined but upon being challenged again and again they threw the blades of grass at dambodbhav and he had to surrender to save his life parshuram says that the same rishis in this birth are born as arjun and krishna in madhvacharyas mahabharat tatparya nirnay there is a reference of sahasra varman madhvacharya believed that sugriva of ramayan wanted to repent for his act of killing his brother vali so he is born as karna vali was a son of indra and he is reborn as arjun thus in this birth arjun has the upper hand but the main story in oral traditions goes like this there was a demon called dambodbhav and he worshiped sun god surya for for years and years when the god became happy uh, dambodbhav asked for immortality sun god refused that so dambodbhav asked for 1000 armors and asked if one had to break one armor one should do penance of 1000 years thus emboldened dambodbhav started troubling all rishi called dharma and his wife murti prayed to vishnu for saving people from this demon and uh, uh, vishnu was born as twins to them and uh, they were called nar and narayan they started fighting with dambodbhav and while one fought the other got into penance for 1000 years and thus they took turns by the time they broke 999 armors the yuga ended in the next birth all three are again born dambodbhav as karna nar as arjun and narayan as krishna and thus they kill karna it is believed that karna had married vrishali however no certain uh, detail about this is available and had seven sons his youngest son was called vrishaketu he was one of the four survivors on the side of kauravas at the end of the battle of mahabharat yudhishthir knew about vrishaketu's vela and thus makes him the king of indraprastha there was peace and bonding between vrishaketu and pandavas arjun even became a guru to vrishaketu when yudhishthir performed rajasuya yagya the royal horse was set free arjun decided to go to south to defend it years before 
Arjun had married Chitrangada and she was left in her own kingdom. Babruvahan was Arjun's son through Chitrangada. He captured the horse and there was a fierce battle between Babruvahan, Arjun and Vrishiketu in which Babruvahan kills both Arjun and Vrishiketu. However, he uh, brought Arjun alive with the help of Ulupi who was another wife of Arjun and was a Nakanya. Some myths also say that Krishna brought Vrishketu back to life, Singh Arjun said. While oral traditions have tried to justify Karna's killing, one must admire his skills and his nobility and his loyalty. Later on in India, a Sanskrit dramatist called Bhas wrote a drama called Karna Bharam in which he did poetic justice to Karna. In Hindi, Ramdhari Singh Dinkar wrote Rashmirathi and glorified the valor of Karna. In my next episode, I will tell you another story from the mythologies. Till then, stay safe and stay happy. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you.